take any hair away from the ear, piece of tissue with a rectangle cut out of it. And I'm just going to slot that over the ear, just act as a safety measure. Just ensure though that the edge of the tissue doesn't fall in line with the eye. Taking the candle, I'm working to the left side of the or the left ear first, so I've marked the candle with an L indicating left, and I'm just going to try the candle in the ear just to ensure that I can get a good seal. Just give the candle a tiny tug, and if it doesn't come straight out, then we know that we can work quite safely with that candle. Taking the lighter and moving away from the ear slightly, using the lighter we're just going to light the candle, bring it back over to the client, and back there. <laughs> We must ensure that the seam of the candle faces to the front of the client. This will ensure that as the candle burns down, any ash should only fall, actually falls away from the client's face. Now I'm just going to place my hands down at the base of the candle here, just as a support. And looking at the time, just to ensure that I can reconcile how long the candle took to burn down. The construction of the ear candles. The candles ingredients um, are 100% pure beeswax, uh, honey extract, sage, St John's wort, calomile, beta carotene, also known as vitamin A, and the candles are actually then woven with pesticide-free cotton. Whilst the candle is burning, uh, what's actually happening, it's not going to be removing any wax from the ear, but it will soften any, any problematic or excessive wax that's, wax that's actually within the ear. The treatment itself can help with, oh, we've just heard a little bit of crackling there. That was the herbal residue, just really having a good kick through. And if our client is feeling any pressure at the moment, it should clear in a few moments. The candle has now been burning for just coming up for 10 minutes. I'm going to be removing it in a moment. Just time enough for me to tell you just basically the symptoms that can be helped with uh, ear candling. It can help with excessive or compacted ear wax. It helps with snoring. It's benefit, very, very beneficial for that. Uh, glue ear, pressure regulation, uh, patchless eustachian tube, which is where the eustachian tube doesn't close properly, colds, headaches, um, relaxation of ex excited children, etc. Very good for calming them. Bell's palsy, Meniere's disease, swimmer's ear, flying problems, labyrinthitis and loss of smell. The candle has just reached the red line. We're just going to remove the candle very gently. And just taking the candle away, just dousing it in the water, ensuring that it's come out. And then just place the candle to one side of the plate. And just taking two fingers, just going to massage the circular moments around the ear, just to encourage the vapours of the candle to continue their work.
Okay, well, we're now going to complete the treatment just by working over your face. This will help to aid lymphatic drainage, which is very relaxing as well, but it just helps us to drain away everything that we've started to move with the use of the candles away from the sinuses and down through to help clean the chest. So the facial routine, we're going to start with quite wide, open circular movements from the top of the forehead, just above the eyebrows, working up to the top, open circular movements, the centre of the eyebrow, the medial edge of the eyebrow, and then over to the lateral edge. The eyebrow. Using our thumbs, in a circular motion over the temples, 